All right, this is 110 notes, writing equations, cookie style. These problems, they involve the cookies, that's why I call it cookie. All right, objectives, you'll be able to write an equation given certain percentages in a business situation. So, the problem that we're gonna be seeing here quite often in class goes like this. Sarah and Matt made cookies for a fundraiser at their high school. Sarah made 43% more cookies than Matt. The cookies, in the senior meeting room sold for 80 cents each. After the sale, 63% of the combined total of their cookies remained. Our goal here in part A is to create an equation to represent the total amount of money Matt and Sarah earned at the fundraiser based on the number of cookies Matt made, meaning the only variable that's gonna be in there is Matt, which I'm gonna use M, M for Matt. Explain how you determined your equation. Enter your equation in the explained explanation space provided, which will be a little box for you guys to type in. So, to find out the total amount that they made, that dollar sign, it's equal to, well, Matt made a certain amount of cookies. So the amount of cookies Matt made plus the amount of cookies that Sarah made. Now Sarah made 43% more than Matt, so it would be Matt's share, M, plus 0.43%, aka 0.43, times Matt. That would be the total amount of cookies made so far for the, for the bake sale. So it's Matt's amount plus Sarah's amount, which is Matt's plus 0.43 times Matt. So right there, what I underlined, let's underline that in red. What I underlined here in red is the contribution of Sarah. Now the cookies sold for 80 cents each. So each one of these cookies sold for 80 cents. So you need times 0 0.8 to find out the money wise. So if they sold all their cookies, it would be just this equation. However, they didn't sell all their coins, all their cookies. Only 63% of their cookies remained. So this is times 0 0.8 is times for the 80 cents per cookie. Then we also got to multiply it by not 63 but how much they actually sold, because that's how much money you had. So you got to do 100%, 100% minus what's left over, which is that 63, to find out what exactly the percentage was, which is 37. 30% of the, their stash, their product, was sold. So you got to do times 0 0.37. And that's how you're going to get the total amount of money that Sarah and Matt made on their big sale. All right, let's do another one. We got Han and Matt. Han and Matt made cookies for a fundraiser at their high school. So same setup here. Don't want to deviate too much. Han made 17% more cookies than Matt. The cookies sold for 74 cents each. After the sale, 28% of their combined total of their cookies remained. So, we know, we want to know how much money. So how much money they made is equal to, well, they're referring, we have to make this equation money that Matt made, so that's our equation. So M is going to represent Matt, so we're going to use that same variable. So Matt made some cookies plus the amount of cookies that Han made. Well, Han made 17% more than Matt, so he made Matt's amount plus 17% more than Matt. So, Han is that under that line in purple, Matt's plus 70% of Matt's. The cookies sold for 74 cents each, 
So you got to multiply by 0 0.74 for the 74 cents each. And then you got to multiply by, well, how much did they sell? They had 28% left over, so 100% of their product minus the 28 that's left over. We'll find out how much they sold. Well, they sold 73% of the product, so times 0 0.73. And that will get us the total amount of money. All right. So let's do another one. We got Bill and Matt. Made cookies. M's going to represent Matt. Bill made 87% more cookies than Matt. So the total amount of money is equal to the amount of cookies Matt made plus the amount of cookies that Bill made which was Matt's amount plus 87% more so plus 0.87 times Matt what do I underline here in purple is the amount that Bill made then we got to multiply by 46 cents because that's how much each cookie was sold for 46 cents then we got to multiply by the amount of cookies they sold or the percent of the product sold so you have 100 percent minus the 65 percent that's left over which will get you 35 percent so 0 0.35 percent and that's our equation. Here's one you could try on your own. There's an answer. Here's one you could try again on your own. You can hit the pause button. Here's your answer. Another one. Here's the answer. And then here's the answer. And here's the answer. Right, let's do one more together. So we got Bill and Matt once again, based on Matt's. So M. M for Matt. So the amount of money they made for cookies is equal to the amount of cookies Matt makes plus the amount of cookies that Bill makes, which is M plus 0 0.40 of Matt, because he made 40% more than Matt, times the 51 cents that they're being sold for, And then times, to get that last number, if they got 80% still left over, you got to do 100 minus the 80 to find out that they sold 20% of their product. So we times 0 0.20. Because they sold 20% of their product. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or come to our shop. I'll be happy to help you out. All right. Have yourself a nice night.